Hello everyone, I'm Xinhua correspondent Han Yige, and we are now at Jinyang Lake International Convention Center in Taiyuan, North China's Shanxi Province. The 12th Expo Central China is just being held from May 21st to May 23rd, online and offline, through main venue and branch venues across Shanxi. And what's new for this year's Expo? Let's come and check it out. The Central China Investment and Trade Exposition, Expo Central China, has been co-hosted by the six central provinces since 2006. With the key words of opening up and cooperation, transformation and innovation, this year's Expo attracts thousands of new products and stunning high techs. More than 1,300 companies and groups from the province of Shanxi, Henan, Anhui, Hubei, Hunan, Jiangxi gather together. In recent years, more and more young Chinese people show increased interest in the health-related products and also the cosmetic products. So they can also find their interest here. A company in Shanxi brings us new products in cosmetic industry. So what are they used for? Let's come and check it out. Collagen is the most abundant protein in human bodies, accounting for 25% to 33% of the total body protein. Recombinant human-sourced collagen can mediate cell activities, induce the growth of blood vessels, promote the healing process. China used to completely rely on the imports of the ultra-thin steel strips. But now the company named Taigang in Taiyuan works as the leader of this industry. So what is the ultra-thin steel like? Let's come and see. Well, this is the ultra-thin steel. Now you can see how thin it is, and it is terrible. This piece is just 0.02 millimeters thick. The hand terrible steel strip is a necessity for high-end manufacturing, such as the foldable phones, aviation, and nuclear power. More and more new high-techs emerge in the health industry, and at the Anhui uh, thematic exhibitions, we can also see a lot of new products. So let's come and see what's new in the clinic. It's a new products in endoscope. It's three-dimensional in the scope. Wow, let's check it out what we can see now. A clear image and also the whole view can be provided to the doctors. A lot of hospitals now in China has widely used this technology and also helps the doctors to do well in this treatment. The utility of 5G, AI, and also the driverless drone has been used in many areas. We can see that in agriculture track, the mining, and also the electricity track. So this one is the first hydrogen-powered electricity driverless tractor with the 5G communication technology in China. Hydrogen is the main energy used by the tractor, which is no harmful to the environment. And also, it can get refueled in a really fast speed. Official data shows that from 2016 to 2019, the GDP of six provinces in central China increased from RMB 16.1 trillion to RMB 21.9 trillion, higher than that of the country ranking fifth in the world in terms of GDP. In addition, the permanent population in central China is nearly 370 million, more than a quarter of China's total population.